And they're the ones who have to stand up and rise up to make sure that a public postal service uh, continues. And the second thing is, is what I'm really... Well, we're seeing that there's a slowdown and a breakdown of the mail. Uh, a lot of people are not being able to get their medication on time. Um, the service is getting lousy because they're delaying the mail. They had to do it. They moved the mail. There are people here who work in post. So going into the station, you'll see Saturday's mail still sitting around on Monday. So, and that's, that's not normal. And that's not normal. That's not normal. That's something we do. You bring your people in. You got people working seven days a week, 24 hours a day. That mail should be generated and out to the public for delivery. Don't let the message today be about the election. This message today. They can't do their work because they're limiting the amount of hours that these workers are, are need in order to safely uh, deliver and reliably in an efficient way deliver the mail to people throughout the country, whether they be in, in cities, whether they be in towns, or whether they be in more rural areas throughout this country. Look, they've done it since 1775. They know how to do this. They just need the proper resources and the support from the Postmaster General and the federal government in order to get that job done. It's a shame the treatment of these elected officials. And as we move closer towards, uh, and through this pandemic and closer towards the November election, we want to make sure that they have the resources that they need in order to do their jobs.